Hey everybody, Atlas here again. I have for you uh, yet another standard Great Nature deck profile because we can do that because there are two different builds for Great Nature after just one set. Um, this build is a lot closer to the one that won uh, Worlds in English format, so yeah. All the Excel markers are Leopold like they were last time because of course they are. <coughs> Oh fuck. Okay, so your starter is a uh, blackboard parrot. Uh, like every other standard starter, when you ride on top of them, you draw a card. So that's the thing. Um, starts off like the last time. Four copies of Leopold. Still looking for more SVRs. Um, if this, uh, if you didn't see the last one, the skill is on ride. You can, or on ride, you mill a card, and then. Uh, you look at, if it's a normal, <laughs> that's Sophie. Sophie's paws, because she's a cat. And this is great nature, so I figure it fits. You, you cannot, uh, overtake a cat. So, the skill is, when you ride, you mill a card. If it's a normal unit, you look at four cards from the top of the deck, and call up to two, uh, grade two or less cards from among them to rear guard circle. Um... There was another Great Nature player in Top 8 for Standard that uh, got a game loss and got kicked out of Top 8 because he tried to call a Grade 3 off of the still. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if And then if it's Trigger Unit, Leopold gets 15k and a crit for the turn. If you run on top of a Grade 3, you get to do the still twice. So, yeah. Sophie's pretty excited about it, just at a frame there. You can see her ears on the top of her head. She's... Uh, She's upside down, so she's happy about it. <clears throat> Four copies of Pencil Hero Hamske. So, uh, when you write them, you, if you have a copy of Pencil Hero and Pencil Squire, or sorry, if you have a copy of Pencil Knight and Pencil Squire Hamske in your soul, you discard two cards, get an imaginary gift, excel, and then you search your deck for one copy of Pencil Knight and Pencil Squire and call them. So... Uh, this is the only card in the game right now that gets two Excel gifts on ride. Uh, so one off of him by himself, and then the other with the skill. So this allows you to make Excel gifts faster than most decks, and uh, allows you to fill those Excel circles. But it also means that if you don't ride uh, Pencil Knight and Pencil Squire, that takes a lot of concentration to remember which is which. Um, then this, Then he's literally vanilla. Because he has no rear guard skill, uh, it only works the first time you ride him, so um, there is a bit of inconsistency there, but I still think it's, uh, like, the deck worked well enough to win Worlds, so um, there's that. It did pretty well at Locals uh, last week. I haven't really gotten that much testing with it, but I still think that it is worth, you know, playing in his own build, so hooray for Pencil Hero Hamstay. Um Four copies of Binoculus Tiger. So uh, on Van Rear, when he attacks a Vanguard, you counterblast one, mill a card. Yes, Sophie, that is Binoculus Tiger. Um, so you mill a card, and then if it's a normal unit, you draw one, and if it's a trigger unit, you retire an opponent's rear guard, and three of your units in the front row get plus 5k. So very good card. You're always doing a plus off of it. Uh, it's triple R for a reason. Yeah, she's not she's not having it this time. Uh, three copies of Geograph Giant. <clears throat> so in my other build, I only ran two, but this time I run three. So it's still as if he's on an additional rear guard circle, he gets plus 8k all the time. So the reason I upped him to three is that you make more Excel circles uh, than you would in the Bison build. So I feel that this facilitates another copy of him because... Uh, most of the time, the opponent isn't going to bully a 17k base unless they really, really want to. Uh, my friend Vince loves uh, attacking stuff with, uh, or attacking this with his stuff, but that's Vince, because he's, uh, he's Vince. So th this thing is quite good, uh, and I think it facilitates running another copy as opposed to what you would do in the Bison build. Two copies of uh, Barcode Zebra. So, uh, there's a lot of tech space in uh, the Grade 2 lineup. Aside from Binoculus and the card coming after this, you can kind of run whatever you want. 
Um, so Barcode Zebra is when a card is put from the top of deck into grave, he gets plus 5k, or just from deck to grave. So Leopold, Binoculus Tiger, Monoculus Tiger, all mill, which means this allows you to get very big very fast. Uh, you can run uh, Toolbox Wallaby if you want to for a 15k Interceptor. You can run more Geograph Giants if you want to. Um, you can run the 8k guy that when he hits Vanguard you can Soul Blast draw, but I like saving my soul for Monoculus Tiger. So, Barcode Zebra for right now. Four copies of Pencil Knight Hamstay. So, uh, if your Vanguard is Pencil Hero, he uh, gets plus 3k, so he's a 12k base. And then on Vanguard Circle, um, during the battle that uh, he attacks if you have Pencil Squire and Soul, so if you uh, use Pencil Squire's still or, uh, you know, or Road Pencil Squire in the first place. It's Sophie, just... God damn it. This fucking cat. Anyway, so... Uh, so if you attack while you have Pencil Squire and Soul, he gets uh, plus 5k, so... This is a very good early game card, and uh, if you ride Pencil Hero, that means he's a 12k base. Um, there's also four copies of Pencil Squire. So Pencil Squire is, if you have Pencil Hero's Vanguard, it's plus 4k all the time. So that's a 12k base, much like Pencil Knight is. Yeah, she's not having it. And then also at the end of your turn, you can Soul Blast put it, this into your soul from Rear Guard Circle and search your deck for another copy of Pencil Knight which means that uh, there's a bit of an early game thing going on where you can ride a, a grade one, call Pencil Squire as a rear guard, attack with it, and then at the end phase you can put Pencil Squire into soul and search your grade two ride. And there's the requirement needed for uh, Pencil Hero. Nice and easy. Uh, it's also, you know, if you are on Pencil Hero and you do his still, that's a 24k column, which means you hit force numbers, so... Very good. Uh, you get more use out of it than you did in the Bison version. Ugh, four copies of Monoculus Tiger. So on Vanna Rear, when it uh, attacks anything or boosts a rear guard, so the the rear guard can be attacking anything. It's just got to be either attack or boost a rear guard that is attacking. You Soul Blast one, mill a card, and then get you know an effect based off what you mill. So if it's a normal unit, the opponent can't call sentinels for the attack, and if it's a trigger unit, the opponent can only call triggers. Um, so, uh, Monoculus is a very good card that can allow you to close out games. It's a pretty good card to put on an Excel circle. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good card, and I like it, and I already said what it does in the other video, so I don't really think I need to sing its praises. Um, Two copies of Silver Wolf. So uh, in the back row, it's a 12k all the time. So that means if it's behind Vanguard, that's 24k, which means you can hit Force. Uh, it's a 21k behind pretty much any uh, any rear guard. If you are on Pencil Hero and you have a Pencil Knight, that's another 24k column. It's just a really solid rear guard. You don't really need more than two. Um, it's just you know it's fine. There's also two copies of Tank Mouse. So uh, you don't counterblast as much as you did in the Bison build. Um, the guy who won Worlds ran three mice, two or three mice, one Silver Wolf, which I can I can understand that, and I've considered it, but I like the beat stick power more. Um, so Tank Mouse is when you mill a card, you can counterblast and put that card into your hand. Um, so. Yeah, good card is good. Uh, you can use it twice if you have it behind the Vanguard, and then you ride Leopold over a grade three. You get two chances to use it. Um, and I say chances as in, like, you can, you know, if you didn't like the first card, you can maybe get the second card. It's not like Counter Blast 2, get both back. It's a once per turn still. Oh, if only, right? Um, so that's that. And now for the triggers. Uh, we have four draw PGs, because it's standard. Um, I really don't need to be saying this that much. It's a draw. It's perfect guard. Yeah. Good thing is good. Next, uh, eight front triggers. I know in the Pill Moon video I said... I ran two crits. And my reasoning for this is that if the opponent 
thinks that a crit is coming, maybe at some point in the future, they are more likely to guard your vanguard or whatever else. But uh, the Dai One Worlds ran all fronts, and after playing with this a little bit, I like uh, having a front row that is able to be filled easier thanks to Hamestay, more supplied by fronts uh, because I have more units, <laughs> more catch shenanigans. Uh, so honestly, it works for me. Uh, if you want to run a couple of crits, you can. Uh, I don't think it's like Pale Moon where the front row changes enough to warrant uh, you know, crits or things like that. Once you get your front row there, it's not going to move. There, the opponent can kill stuff. You can call more stuff. But it's not going to be like, you know, re-standing things or uh, swapping things in and out. Like in the case of the Bison build, you ran crits because you had things that were re-standing. That made more sense. But this just works. I'm not sure why, but it does. And then, uh, lastly, for heals because they're heals. So that was the standard build. Uh, if you liked this deck that was more or less a ripoff of the one that won Worlds with a few techs and stuff, I already said it was going to be like that, so you can't really get mad at me. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, before this video ends, I wanted to let you know that we have a new playmat available on inkgaming.com. It is our Dectonix playmat featuring Dectonix Drill Dragon from the Miyagi Booster. And we hope you guys enjoy that. Pick up your Dectonix Drill playmats at inkgaming.com.